Assalamu alaikum this is Dr. Hasna with Hasna Nat me with back with another video of the perineum and today we're discussing uh, one of the parts of the urogenital triangle and I already told you guys that the urogenital triangle is divided into two parts so we're discussing the deep part of the urogenital triangle known as the deep perineal pouch all right so let me give you a brief uh, summary of what just happened uh, if you haven't watched my previous video yet, you should definitely watch it. It's an intro to the perineum where I explained exactly what is happening in this area right here. Perineum, perineum basically lies below this pelvic diaphragm. This entire area is the perineum, all right? So what happens is perineum is divided by the perineal membrane into a superficial and a deep perineal pouch. This is the basically what you're seeing over here in this model. This is the contents of the superficial perineal pouch. So the perineum membrane is basically lying right here. This I use the paper for an example to explain to you exactly where it's lying about here just behind the contents of the superficial perineal pouch just deep to them lies your perineal membrane all right and perineal membrane is basically the fascia of your urogenital triangle so you can see here that the perineal membrane has now divided your entire uh, urogenital triangle into a superficial perineal pouch and my finger lies within the deep perineal pouch all right so what we're going to discuss about the deep perineal pouch are basic the boundaries and the contents of it and the differences that lie between males and the females all right so let's get started if you haven't subscribed to my channel do go ahead and click that subscribe button so basically i want you to remember a basic difference between the males and the females is that in the males there is only one opening and only one tube is going to pass through right it'll be the urethral tube from which the functions of the genital organs is also performed via that urethral tube right uh, in case of the females, there are two different uh, tubes for the two different functions, right? So it had, there's a ure urethra for the uro functions and the vagina, which is for the genital functions, right? So all the contents, there will be different related to the fact that there are two different openings in case of females, but only one opening in case of males. Another difference that you will encounter will be the names of the different uh, nerves and vessels. It's almost the same, but a couple of differences in the words here and there is the only difference you'll have to remember so do not get overwhelmed by the fact that you have to learn so much you know the differences between males females and then differences between the deep and superficial perineal pouch you have come to the right video i will make it uh, very easy for you and i will co explain it conceptually that you will not forget so first let's talk about the boundaries lucky for you guys the boundaries for both the males and females are the same all right and they're very obvious we've already discussed them almost so this is the pelvic diaphragm suppose this is your deep perineal pouch this is the perineal membrane and this is your coles fascia all right the coles fascia are basically skin is attached here so this superficial area between the perineal membrane and the uh, coles fascia is a superficial perineal pouch and the area lying between the perineal membrane and you can see the pelvic diaphragm here between them you can see the deep perineal pouch the superficial boundary of the deep perineal pouch is obviously the perineal membrane the deep boundaries the pouch is actually open above it's communicating uh, with the above area all right and on each side remember one thing the ischiopubic rami are going to be lying all right how uh, if you see this model here you can see that this is the ischiopubic rami right and this is the uh, space, deep perineal pouch. So obviously lateral to it, both sides lateral to it, the ischiopubic rami are lying. So that's all for the boundaries uh, of the deep perineal pouch in males and females and thank God they're the same. Now let's talk about the contents. Apparently there are a couple of difference uh, in males and females regarding the contents, but I've made some simple tricks and shortcuts to memorize them. So first thing first, what are the tube contents in both? The tube contents for males, I just told you, it's just the urethra. The tube content in females is obviously your urethra and the vagina. Easy. Now let's talk about the muscles. The muscles within the two in the deep perineal pouch. I want you to focus on this. This is the female perineum, this is the male perineum, right? So what I want you to focus on, uh, in the female perineum, you will see that there is a uh, urethral opening, then there is a vaginal opening. So the muscles include in both of them they both will have these transverse muscles you can see that are attaching to the perineal body so you can see there's a urethra over here and urethra and vagina in case of females so you can see posterior to that area this one that is lying at the estimated at the posterior border of the um, perineal membrane you can see these muscles are going to be similar in deep perineal pouch in males and females these are the deep transverse perineal muscles i want you to memorize that because in the superficial perine perineal pouch corresponding muscles of these muscles will be the superficial transverse perineal muscles so the deep transverse perineal muscles lie in contents of both 
both the males and the females. There's no difference of name in both of that. Next muscles that you see now is very easy. External urethral sphincter in females and external urethral sphincter in males. Let me just zoom that in. The external urethral sphincter is this, all right, because this is the urethra and this is the vagina, right? Now, these two muscles are common within, in both males and females. I hope you can remember that. Uh, the only difference is that females will have a couple of more muscles and that is, that is attributed to the fact that the female has two, two tubes. There's going to be this muscle, this is going to be the compressor urethra and then this muscle. This is the sphincter urethrovaginalis. Whereas in males, there is just this one external urethral sphincter and deep transverse perineal muscles. So that's it for the muscles and I've come up with this easy shortcut to remember these muscles. In case of the females, I want you to draw a rope in 3D that is tied up all right so in 3d so i'll just do that and i'll do this knot a little bit and then i'll do this all right and then draw a transverse line for the males i want you to draw a necklace with a pretty pendant in the middle and complete the necklace with a transverse line beneath that when you've drawn these two images it will help you remember the muscles of the deep perineal pouch and also it's good for you as your anatomy gets stronger because you learned it with visualization so this is your external urethral sphincter in case of males and these are the deep, deep transverse perineal muscles. These are also the deep transverse perineal muscles. These are the compressor urethra muscles. This is the external urethral sphincter and this is the sphincter urethrovaginalis. All right, now let's move on and talk about the nerves of the uh, deep perineal pouch. The nerves in the males and the females and the vessels are basically derived from the i told you this in the last video that your entire perineum derives its uh, neurovascular bundle supply from the pudendal canal which contains the pudendal nerve and the internal pudendal artery so whatever nerve and muscles that you're going to encounter here are branches of those two right so in case of the nerves the pudendal nerve divides into its two terminal branches and these two terminal branches are the deep perineal pouch contents the terminal branch uh, number one that it gives is the, the dorsal nerve of the penis in case of males all you have to do is change the name up for the females so it's the dorsal nerve of the clitoris the other uh, terminal branch of the pedal nerve is the perineal nerve and the perineal nerve gives your muscular branches within the perineal pouch and these are same contents for both males and females the perineal nerves muscular branches so i hope that's easy let's talk about the vessels in the males and females uh, these are the internal pudendal artery giving your artery of the penis this is the branch of the internal pudendal artery and in case of females the name will change up the artery of the clitoris i hope that makes sense and uh, what happens is the artery of the penis or the artery of the clitoris they are going to give a uh, further four branches but in the deep perineal pouch you'll only see the stems or the origins of the uh, four branches because these four branches are actually going to form proper uh, contents in the superficial perineal pouch because obviously in the within the deep perineal pouch if something goes down it's going into the superficial perineal pouch right so these four branches are have a mnemonic the bud these are the the branch to the bulb of the penis, the urethral artery, the deep artery, and the dorsal artery of the penis or the clitoris. You're only going to see their stems of origins in the deep perineal pouch. And finally, the glands. Now, I want you to remember this one difference uh, between the deep and the superficial perineal pouch and the males and the females. In the deep perineal pouch, you will see glands in males, whereas you will not see any glands in females. Switch it up. If it's the superficial perineal pouch, males will have no glands there. The females will have glands there, which means both have kept their glands in the different locations, right? So in males, they kept their glands in the deep perineal pouch. So these are the bulbourethral glands. And for females, these are absent. It's just like males keep their feelings uh, buried deep inside, but females keep their uh, feelings on their sleeves, right? So that's the same that I just made up right now and somehow words. So these are all uh, the contents boundaries and the differences uh, you need to know in case of the deep perineal pouch. I really hope this made sense to you and it became easy for you to memorize the deep perineal pouch. Join me in the next video where I'll talk about uh, ways to easily memorize the superficial perineal pouch. Until then, thank you so much for watching.